here's the deal. There was this multi-billion dollar financial giant with a domain that's been chilling there since 2012. Every hacker out there missed it. I obviously found it, messed around with it a little bit, and I saw that the login page that they had on there looked like nothing special until I dug into GitHub and bam, I found an API that was leaking a user's data. But then the hacker one triage kicked it back and there was like, eh, this is kind of a medium severity because you need to know the username in order to exploit this. And that is kind of a valid point because if I didn't have the usernames, it would be a lot harder to leak this data. So I had to roll up my sleeves a little bit and I had to fire up the good old AI and some automation and let it rip through thousands of usernames until I figured out a pattern that leaked almost every user's data within this website. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I turned a medium or a potential medium vulnerability into a critical one. And also how I snagged the max bounty and potentially could have leaked the data for a bunch of users, including their national ID, their phone number, email, their addresses, you name it. I could have probably leaked within this API. So if you want to follow along, go to hackingup.io. I have a whole lab set up for this. You look for ghost API, launch it, and we're going to dive right into it. So like I mentioned earlier, when we went to the website, the main site was www.site.tld. And it was kind of weird because it was just a login with a contact page on it and nothing else. I ripped through the JavaScript, nothing came up. I did some Google dorking, nothing came up. I also tried doing things like Wayback URL and way more and nothing came up. The stuff that did came up, I couldn't access. And it was something that I was not authorized to see it until I went to GitHub and put the domain into GitHub search and found this specific API endpoint, which by the way, if you want to see a whole video on how I use GitHub to find one abilities or actually find endpoints to hack on and not just leak credentials drop me a comment saying github and i'll make some labs and cover it next but when i found this endpoint it looks something like this and if you go to it right away it looks like it's leaking pii and the reason why this worked is i'm assuming j rodriguez 75 was actually just doing some automation or i don't remember what the repo was but they were doing something where they were grabbing information out of their own user account and they ended up leaking the url and when i went to it it leaked all their private data. So I reported this to HackerOne and HackerOne came back and was like, this is a valid bug, but it's probably medium severity because you need to know the user's username in order to leak it. And that is a valid point because if I went into here and I tried things like admin, it wouldn't work. If I tried, you know, A Smith, for example, it didn't want to work, B Smith. All I was trying was more American last names than anything else, not realizing I'm in a Hispanic region. So I'm in South America somewhere. Then I tried doing actual integers and going one, two, three, one, and then going all the way to a thousand, doing some things in the millions, thinking maybe somehow they're mapped out to also an ID, a user ID or an integer ID. That also didn't work. Then I realized there's something really cool about this Dre Rodriguez username, and it looks like it is J Rodriguez 75. So I was like, okay, let's try 74. 76, nothing worked. But then when I removed the ID, it looked like J Rodriguez came back and gave me different email address and phone numbers and data that was a completely different username. So that made me wonder, since I can't sign up for this website, the system is assigning a username to each of these users and it's doing it based on the first initial and the last name. And if the first initial plus last name is actually taken by somebody else, then they're putting a number at the end, which potentially could be the year of birth. So if you're born in 1975 and your name is Jay Rodriguez, it gives you this username. So you have Jay Rodriguez 75. Cool. But the problem here becomes, how do I think of all these different last names? And this is where using AI and some automation became super, super cool and helped me in a lot of different ways. So I went to ChatGPT and I said, give me a list of the top five Hispanic last names. For the sake of this example, we're going to stick to five. And it came back and gave me this list. Perfect. We already know Rodriguez exists. We know Martinez, Hernandez, and Lopez could be the other ones. So we go back into here and we try A Hernandez. And it looks like that one didn't want to work. B Hernandez, C Hernandez, and so on. But then I tried Lopez. So I try A Lopez. And obviously this one comes back. I see B Lopez. Looks like this one's also coming back. C Lopez. They're all coming back, giving me different data for all these different users. So now we need to find a way to leak all this user data by just automating it. So we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and now we're gonna say, hey, generate a piece of code that provides a list of the top 10 popular Hispanic last names to create a list of usernames that meets this criteria. It's gonna go from A to Z, so 26 entries per last name. Then it's gonna do the same thing and add the numbers from 60 to 99. So it covers everything from 1960 to 1999. And then we're gonna say, hey, I also want you to make a piece of this at the end that makes a get request to each of these usernames and then tells us which ones come back as a 200. So we're gonna copy this exploit and then just run it 
and bam, we have a bunch of users that are coming back. We can copy this and go into our browser and see which ones come valid. I only did a couple of these just because there is PII in here. And I don't want to like access every user. This is why I had to do this specifically because now it's just printing out all the usernames that are valid and I don't have to open it up. I can just copy this, give it to H1 triage and say, hey, it looks like this is the logic of the usernames. And here's a list of all the users that I found, but I did not access every single one of them. So that I didn't leak every user's PII this way. So there's a couple of things here that we need to think about is, did I need AI to do this? Probably not. I could probably code something in Bash or Python that did this. I could have probably found the usernames by doing some Google searches, but honestly, having access to these models and having access to ChatGPT or Claude makes it super easy. Not only I can get it to make these usernames for me, I can also just have it automate for me, copy it, and then throw it in there and have it just give me all the entries that are valid, just like I showed earlier. So that is a wrap for this one. And honestly, the craziest part about this is that this domain wasn't buried on under some complex subdomain structure or hidden behind some obscure redirects, we're talking about a brand's name plus some specific country TLD hiding in plain sight. Plus, this program has been public for over three years with hundreds of hackers taking a shot at it. And I just found this vulnerability not too long ago. No fancy brute forcing, no weird techniques. It all just came down to connecting the dots between recon, GitHub, and a bit of creative automation. So the next time someone tells you all the good bugs are dried up, there's no low hanging fruit, I can't find a bug in a public program, remember this bug. There are still critical vulnerabilities sitting on obvious domains that everyone is overlooking. The gold rush isn't over, you just need to look at the same targets with a different approach and get a bit of creativity in you. If you got value from this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, drop me a comment, especially if you want to see more API hacking techniques, and I will catch you all in next week's video. Peace.